I really prefer the 18th century to the 19th century because there was no psychology in the 18th century. You know, and, and Swift, uh, I think of Swift mostly because he's really one of my favorite writers. And I, if we look at a picaresque, the picaresque I prefer is Gulliver's Travels. So, I mean, this was the key novel, even though there is no real resemblance between uh, Johnny One Eye and, and Lemuel Gulliver. It, it just seemed to me that the, the picaresque allows you, it's like a river. You, you're like on a rowboat and you can row anywhere. You can go on the land, go back on the sea, and you can, you know, the language takes you everywhere. So, language itself is a kind of picaresque because, you know, it's a magic carpet. It's Aladdin's lamp. You want to go there, you take your character there. Well, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't trying to ape or copy. You know, I was trying to find the music of the 18th century, but write it from the point of view of the 21st century. Because there's no point in mimicking. You know, uh, we're, we're not in the 18th century. And it would be disastrous to try to, uh, the, the closest model I had, because the, as I say, the writer I love most was Swift. To me, Swift, uh, you know, is the Kafka of his time, or Kafka is the Swift. And I don't really know, but they both have this incredible sense of being both outside and inside something at the same time. So uh, it, it wasn't fielding that I was interested in, uh, or, or even Defoe. It, it was it was more, you know, Jonathan Swift and his savagery, you know his ability to be so savage and, and so funny at the same time. I remember as a child reading Gulliver's Travels and uh, just being overwhelmed by it that one could go from the large to the small, you know, that, that the way he could move. You know, he was, tra he was a space traveler in the 18th century, but his space was inner space rather than outer space.